The D-Day invasion saw more than 160,000 Allied troops land on the beaches of Normandy in northern France and into a hail of Nazi gunfire. Among them was one intrepid female journalist who survived to tell the tale, Martha Gellhorn. She was born in St. Louis in 1908. Gellhorn left college to write for a magazine called The New Republic, the beginning of her journalism career. Eventually, she moved to Paris, France, and worked for an international news agency. But she was fired for reporting on a male colleague for sexual harassment. She continued to work and travel, penning articles on everything from politics to fashion. Her first book, What Mad Pursuit? A Coming-of-Age Story, was published in 1934. But Gellhorn's talent and thirst for current affairs earned her a spot as investigator for the Federal Emergency Relief Administration, traveling around the country to report on grim living and working conditions. In 1936, she met celebrated author Ernest Hemingway, and they married four years later. As World War II raged in Europe, talk began to circulate as an all-out assault on mainland Europe, and Gellhorn dreamed of being present for D-Day. That dream was almost shattered when Collier's magazine, her employer at the time, chose to send Hemingway instead. But Gellhorn was not to be deterred and managed to board a hospital ship bound for Normandy, hiding herself in the bathroom. On June 6, 1944, even though female reporters were banned from the front lines, Gellhorn snuck her way onto Omaha Beach. Surviving the onslaught and chaos of enemy fire, she pitched in to help wounded men get back to their ships. Her resulting article, published by Colliers despite their initial refusal to send her, propelled her career. And Gellhorn went on to report on the liberation of Europe, becoming one of the first journalists to write from the newly liberated Nazi concentration camp in Dachau. Today, she's widely recognized for her grit and determination as one of the finest war correspondents in history. Why is it important to have different viewpoints represented in war correspondent reporting? <laughs> 